Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, you have a Greek father and a Jamaican mother. Mm -hmm. um, what sort of songs did each of them play for you <laughs> when you were a kid? Um, well, my, uh, my mum, I should probably say that they're both born in London, mm -hmm. but their parents are from Greece and Jamaica. My, <clears throat> my dad's first language was Greek, but he was born in London. Um, and my mother does a very good Jamaican accent, so okay. I should just start by saying that. But um, with regards to the music they played, my mother was basically into a lot of popular stuff at the time in the 90s she, and 80s. She loved Michael Jackson. She loved Stevie Wonder. Um, she would play Mary J. Blige to me in the house. Um, Jill Scott she would play. Uh, and also the Fugees she really liked. But she worked with Jill Scott and Mary J. Blige? No, no, that's not true. Not I don't true. know where that how it came from. She yeah. played those songs. Are there certain songs that, that's, well, that, 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 that she played you more often that, that you still have in your head, uh, thinking back about your childhood? Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's a song, I think it's called you, you Are Everything or You Are My Everything by Mary J. Blige. I think it came out in like 1997 or something. Yeah. <coughs> that was a big one with my mum. And your father, did he play original Creek music? He, um, he did actually, on the accordion, he, he played a lot of instruments. So he would play various pieces of jazz music that he had learned over the years, or he would improvise. Um, but he would play kind of traditional sounding Greek rhythmic pieces of music that were kind of strange and a bit bit upside down with the time signatures and things, but I loved it. Do you have a name maybe? Or? No, I'm sorry, I can't, I'd have to call my dad, <laughs> find hey, out. Have you been to Greece where they, where, where, the, where, where your grandparents came from? Yes, I have, I have. But I was very young, I went when I was eight years old for my birthday present from my dad. Um, that was the first time I'd ever been on holiday. Um, so yeah, but I remember it really vividly. We stayed in Athens um, with my great aunt, who's now passed away, but we stayed with her and my grandmother in her flat in Greece. And uh, we went to the beach every day. And that was where I first, I, my dad told me a story that I was singing on the balcony and before that point I'd never sung in public before or sang to anyone. And I was singing on the balcony, he said, and my grandmother heard me, he told me. Yeah. And he said, oh, yeah, 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 I heard you sing. And she said it was really good. And then I got really shy okay. <laughs> and couldn't handle it. So that was the first time anyone heard me sing, it was did in Greece. He, it's, it's in hindsight, of course, but did he tell you maybe why you started to sing uh, on the balcony? Something happened or...? Oh, no, there was no reason. I was just singing to myself. I thought I was alone, okay. but I wasn't alone. Do you still feel connected to uh, Greece and Jamaica more than maybe other parts of the world? To be honest, I feel very... Um, in a way, I feel very connected to a lot of places. My job allows me to travel everywhere. So I, <clears throat> I tend to, to travel around and then fall in love with places and feel like I could live there or be part of the community. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd, I, I've never been to Jamaica. I would love to go to Jamaica, but I recently went to the Caribbean. I went to Tobago, yeah. um, so I guess it's quite similar. But uh, I don't know, I feel, first and foremost, I feel very English, <laughs> very British. Um, but also, I definitely can appreciate all kinds of weather and all kinds of atmospheres. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to appreciate it when you're British, of course. Exactly. Yeah. We get uh, it all. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what was the first album that you bought yourself? First album that I bought myself was, um, I 
think it was I always get blurry when it's the first album but I think oh god it must have been either Eminem the Marshall Mathers LP or uh, it was the Red Hot Chili Peppers greatest hits <laughs> do you want to pick one? Because I, I would like to talk about that album. Okay. Um, I have a feeling it was the Red Hot Chili Peppers what that I actually paid for myself. What did you like about that album and the band? So I, I first discovered them, it was pretty late on, yeah. um, by the standards of any hardcore Red Hot Chili Peppers fan, uh, because the first song I heard of theirs was Californication. Um, but that led me to want to discover everything that they'd done wow. before that as well. How special well, just, was that song? Huh? How special was that song? Well, really special. I still love it. Okay. And um, I don't know, something about the way it was written or the melodies or something. Or, I don't know, just it all made me want to, to sing it. I wanted to pretend it was me and I wanted to... I don't know, I wanted to write songs, you know, from hearing not just that song, but, you know, particularly one, their, their material kind of just makes me want to write. Um, and I also, of course, heard Under the Bridge, um, but I heard the All Saints version first, <laughs> but then uh, discovered the, the proper version. Um, I think I much prefer the proper version. Yeah, you do? yeah. I much prefer the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, so then I had the Greatest Hits album, and then that I just had a sort of a cross section of their music over the over the last two decades or something. I just absolutely loved it. <laughs> just loved it. Do you have special periods, or do you love the whole body of work that they did? I like most of the body of work. Yeah. Like I love the blood sugar sex magic. Um, I love Californication, but I also really, really am fond of. By the way, really fond of that album. Um, I don't know. It it was the kind of sound of a, a, a time in my life when I was about fifteen, sixteen, yeah. and uh, first falling in love with boys and things. Um, so it kind of reminds me of that time. You said that, especially Californication and other songs, they, they inspired you to write. Yeah. Um, was it around that time that you also wrote your first songs? Yes, I think probably just before then, um, I had the desire, probably from the age of about 11, 12. And then I got the greatest hits when I was, say, 13. So it kind of... Um, confirmed my desire for writing songs. Where did, did this desire come from? You know? uh, <laughs> I wish I knew. I think it's a phenomenon yeah. that anybody that anybody feels the need to write a song in the first place. Yeah. What is it for you? Is it melody, words? It used to be it used to be melody and words at the same time. And then I would put music to it afterwards um, then it became just words sometimes and then I would figure out the music and then the melody um, and then when I started playing guitar it was music first melody and words second so even now there's there's no right or wrong way to do it and I, I, I don't know I just I think it's the need to express yourself that makes you want to create any kind of art or, you know, draw a picture or, you know, or write a song or do anything.